Hi, my name is Sally, and I'm a developer on the Stayflow team at MathWorks. Today I'm going to talk about the Activity Profiler, a new profiling tool for recording, visualizing, and examining the behavior of a Stayflow chart. So let's start with a Stayflow chart that represents a simplified model of the logic to shift gears in a four-speed automatic transmission system of a car. There are four different states that represent the gear states. As the speed increases and hits a certain threshold, the gear shifts up. If the speed decreases and hits a certain threshold, then the goal is to have the gear shifts down. So what if after we design and simulate the model, we try to answer questions such as how much of the simulation time was spent in the first state, or how many times was this transition valid and taken, or how many times was this simulating function executed during the simulation? For this, we will use the Activity Profiler. To turn the Activity Profiler on, you can click on the Activity Profiler button in the Debug table. And then you can run the simulation and let it collect and display the data. The Activity Profiler pane shows four columns, the state name, duration in seconds, duration percentage, and the number of entries. The duration column refers to the accumulated logical simulation time spent at each state. The logical simulation time is provided by the solver and it's based on the time step in each simulation. The percentage column refers to the percentage of execution time spent at the state relative to its parent chart. And the number of entries column refers to the number of times a state was entered during the simulation. You can see from the table that only state first was entered in the gear state and the entirety of the simulation time was spent in it. In the other parallel state, only steady state was entered and 100% of the simulation time was spent in it. On the canvas, the states are highlighted for quick visual inspection using the same color scheme used in the table. Now we will inspect the model to find out why the actual result does not match the expected behavior when we try to simulate a transmission system for a car. For that, I'm going to use the setting menu to turn the transition and function highlighting options for the profiler. I can see very quickly when I hover over different transitions that none of them were taken. And I can also see immediately that state, the steady state was entered and it was never exited. So I can focus in my debugging on why this happens. In this scenario, the speed had to be less than a certain down t edge for, uh, for it to go to downshifting, or the speed has to be equals to up t edge to go to upshifting. And I could spot immediately that I made a logical error when I placed this. So I need to make it, so I need to change it to greater than instead of equal equal. So let's go ahead and run the simulation again and see what happens. Right, so as expected, the simulation time was spent among the different gear states. Most of the time was spent in the third state, and the fourth state was never entered. So we can identify the dead logic in our code and remove it later if that's necessary. With the Activity Profiler, I was able to zoom in and identify and fix the problem very quickly. And I was able to gain some insight on the chart behavior as I did that. In addition to having the ability to turn on and off state transition and function highlighting, I can use different color scheme for highlighting as well. For example, the hot and cold color scheme highlights the minimum and maximum 20% of the value only. And this is useful for identifying bottlenecks or dead logic in my model and changing them as needed. To summarize, the Activity Profiler for Stayflow Charts is a new profiling tool for recording, visualizing, and examining the chart's behavior. Alongside other state flow debugging tools, it can be used for identifying dead logic and bottlenecks in the model and fixing different logical errors. Thank you for listening.